<laughs> there we go. Wow. There we go. I feel somehow less pressure. Okay. So tell me exactly what's going on with your problem here today. Um, I came because I was feeling a pain that goes from my left, well, from my left ankle all uh -huh. the way up to my knee or the back of my knee. Uh huh. And I wanted to what it is. <laughs> so I want to be able to ask you, um, how long this has problem has been going on for you? Like three months. Three months, and then you said you told me the the pain goes from where from the from from your ankle. Yes. Side of your ankle. From the side of my ankle, it goes up sometimes behind. This behind muscle, the knees. And then it goes up to the back of my knee. It goes up all the way here, and sometimes it goes from then. Okay. The side of my ankle all the way up to here. Any kind of recent injuries? Recent? No, just one car accident in 2009, so that's not recent. Did you hurt your foot or uh, which area did you hurt, hurt yourself during the car accident? The internal ligaments of both knees and my right ankle. Right ankle. What happened to your right ankle? Uh, I had... Um, it got swollen of this part of the, is there an internal ligament? Yes, there are ligaments in the ankle. But then they also got swollen. But um, just be able to clarify, right now you have a pain to your left ankle, yes? Yes. And then they, uh, when you had injuries to the uh, right ankle 12 years ago for Carson, yes. was any kind of broken bones in here like no. that? No. No, okay. And this, ever since you've been having this kind of aching pain to not the right ankle, but the left ankle, yes? That comes on and off? Yes. Okay. So exactly where is your pain? Oh, there. Right here? And, uh -huh. Right here is where your pain is? Currently, yes. So the pain goes from all the way from here, you said up, 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 up toward the side? Yes, and sometimes uh, what you pointed, but it goes through the back. Oh, so from here it goes from the, from the sides to the back, and then from sides to the to side? To the side, yes. Okay, wonderful. Okay. Let me just go ahead and test some of the muscle strength. It tells me exactly how the nerve flow is to your foot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to push this up. Push my, my leg? My leg. Uh, your leg, not my leg. Your leg. Yeah, push up, please. Leg. On your right side. Perfect. Okay. Slightly weak. Go ahead and push this up. Better. Push this down, please. Push this down. Push this up, push this back, weak. Do you notice that? So the nerve that you have said that goes from here all the way down to the back, that nerve is actually kind of weak. Go ahead and push this forward for me, please. Push this back. Okay, now go. On, let me go ahead and examine your left ankle. Push up, okay, push down. Weak, very weak. Do you notice the differences? Go ahead and push this up. Push back. I don't think I don't feel like I have a strength to strength. push it down. Which is, yeah. which is weird, right? Yeah. So the specific nerves to your ankle is controlled by some of the nerves from above. So whatever may be going on, it could be here, it could be here, it could be here, or it could be in your low back area that could be disturbing the function of you trying to put down your left ankle. Right? I'm gonna go ahead and examine your spine. Spine is one of the areas that are pretty frequently known to give you problems to your leg and to your foot. I'm going to go ahead and define exactly what the problems are. A lot of your muscles in your back is actually pretty spastic, which means that it's grabbing like a uh, something is unstable in your spine. All the muscles over here, do you notice it's so tight and so tense? That tells me Something is not right. Something is not stable around this area. That's the reason why it's all tensed up. Does it make sense? Yeah. A weakness on this area. So I want to be able to show you how your back and your foot is related. So the function of the back and the foot, I'll show you how that's related, okay? Yeah. All right. So if I am pressing down the area where you have problems on your tailbone, and then ask you to press down. Press down. Is it stronger? Yes. Let me add, give me your, your right ankle. Press down for me, please. How's the differences? 
I have more grip and I feel the strength to, to like right. I'm actually strong enough to push it down. Okay, I'm gonna take the hands off now. Go ahead and push down. Weak. You wait, notice it? I don't feel like I'm pushing down even though I'm trying. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna go ahead and push down the uh, area that you have problem on your back. Go ahead and press down, please. How is it? Much stronger. Absolutely. Okay, that's exactly. This one is fourth lumbar, the second lowest backbone of your lower back. It's actually torqued this side. This one is the third one, it's rotated this side. Second, we're rotated through, toward this side. This one rotated through this side. What it means to me is that not only you have the disc curvatures right here, you actually have acute pressures on this area and this area because every vertebrae or every backbone of your body is rotated through this side. Only on this side has been rotated this way. So do you think that's gonna put a lot of pressures on it? And then, you know, the thing that I wanna be able to also tell you is that the nerve that comes out from here, which is going to be the nerve coming out from here, from the fourth backbone, fourth lumbar bone, is the one that controls, guess what? Your knees. Okay. But if you do have a lot of pain to your knees that you just cannot put pinpoint to, but it kinda of hurts everywhere, that probably means that you have some kind of nerve pressures coming from this area. Does it make sense with you? Yes. The reason being you have a knee pain right here is because you have some kind of problem upward. Because as you can see, knee bone has pretty good spaces. There's no broken bone. It doesn't explain why you have such a um, radiating pain or traveling pain down to your knees, to your ankle, while your knee's fine. Which means the problem is not in your knees. So it's important that you understand that not just look at the areas where you have pain, but look at the overall picture to see exactly what's going on. This is your, this is your left foot. Um, aside from the fact that you have collapse of um, the arch is right here, and there's a slight amount of uh, indentations here due to the fact that you have collapsing arches because you have a flat foot, there's not much else going on to your foot right here. Take a look. You don't really have a pain. Broken bone, there's actually no other problems on your foot to give you that sharp radiating pain. Same thing for your foot view or foot x-ray view from the top to bottom. There is no broken bone, all the alignments are good. This is where you have pain right here, but there is absolutely no indication why you have some pain. Yes, you can have muscle pain, yes, you can have all the other things, but the bone-wise, structure-wise, everything is fine. So what that tells me is that your knee pain and then your foot pain may not be coming from your knee or your foot. So I'm gonna be looking at your entire body and I'll be able to kind of explore and then find out exactly what the causes are. But most likely it's coming from your low back area. We had the weaknesses that we found here to be, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do the post test. This is the easiest way for me to know that the nerve function is restored and that you are on your way for recovery, okay? You remember this side was weak? Yeah. Let's push up, please. Whoa, strong, push down. Do you notice it? Do you notice the differences? Especially uh, pushing down. Pushing down is different, yes? Push up, push down. Push out. Out. Push in, push out, push in, push up, push down. This was very weak, do you remember that? Push up, push down. Do you notice it? <laughs> wow, it's not in the difference, it's going to push up, push down. And you said that you had a pain uh -huh. that's traveling here, how is it here now? Now it's based there. So the lump, uh, so the, the pain has decreased by how much? I don't feel it going up. Really? Now I just feel it here. Okay. And then we haven't touched your foot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that actually relieves a lot of pressure by itself. You have a pain right here, which is going to be called your cuboid bone. 
There we go. Wow. It was itching to go. Now your foot is moving now. Okay, is it? You can keep doing it because that, that, what's the name of that bone? Cuboid. Cuboid is not behaving. I know. <laughs> How is it now? After the foot treatment. Better. It's less sharp, the pain. I mean, now only if I touch it, okay. I can feel. I feel somehow less pressure. Okay. You can go ahead and start to bend down to see how that actually makes you feel. Bend, bend Yeah, bend forward, yes. How is that? Well, it's good in the sense that I don't feel the, the that I would feel. Yes. So that's better. See, I would say now I feel like 80. Okay. That's not bad. No. Oh, that's really good for the first time. <laughs>